Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's try figuring out this room now, I suppose. Apparently I cannot climb up there on my own. There's a rampaging Poto Boo. Oh my goodness, I just remembered. I do not have a shield and... Actually, that wouldn't help me anyway. That would The shield would get burnt. Um... Uh-oh. <laughs> I believe they're vulnerable to bombs, though. So I'm just gonna keep them out just in case. I know I can climb onto this. What is this? <laughs> what is hitting this switch do? There's three of the sun panel blocks. So I'll be able to shift around this room. Okay, that it turns off the fire, so that's pretty good to know. Very handy, I suppose. I bet you I have to pull them all over to that light over there, or they all have different. Uh, how do I put it? They all have different effects as I pull them into the light. And I just noticed that the switch just went back down. I should say the switch just turned itself off. Yeah, I don't think there's room enough for six switches in this room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This makes a wall master fall from the ceiling. So some of these are, or I should say they probably are red herrings. Okay, I'm gonna try bombing you. <laughs> eh. You are incredibly in the way. What does Navi have to say about it? Yeah, I don't have a shield, man. This is typically an adult-only enemy, so that's kind of the issue here. Um... <laughs> Ridiculous. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to pull it with me. I've got 19 hearts. I can tank it. <laughs> I worked hard for those 19 hearts, getting all the heart pieces in this freaking game, and I intend on taking advantage of it! What does this do? That opens the door over there. But what does this one do? <laughs> one of these has to make a treasure chest appear. Because I see that one in this room, and it makes me go, Eee! I want the treasures! Ah, uh, well, I know this one's a fake one, so I'm just gonna push it out of the way. At least I think it's gonna turn itself off once I... Yeah, once I push it out of the light. There we go. And... I'll just pull this one back two spaces. Let's see what is up. Oh, wait, this is still gonna collide with that other one, isn't it? Yep, not quite enough. One more space ought to do it. And... Cha-ching! That makes a treasure chest appear. But man, I'm really curious as to what the other ones are. <laughs> well, I can use this one to get up back onto that ledge to hit the switch and turn off the fire so I can jump across onto the place with the treasure chests, but that still doesn't answer my plight as to what those other two sunblocks are, and holy crap, this is incredibly boring. <laughs> I'm just gonna start pushing it from this side, sort of like a Poto Boo guard. Eh, eh, uh, yeah, ah, good. And there we go. I don't believe once I move. One of those blocks away from the sun. Oh no! Away from the sun switch, it will uh, uh, reset things. I don't believe like it'll make the treasure chest disappear. But just in case, I'm not moving it. That was pretty good, I guess. I think I actually could have got that from the other side. That's all. Huh. Yeah, I, I suppose I could have got it from that side. Oh, this is also a way back, I see, just to, just in case you get stuck there in between the fire and you don't have one of these blocks to help you out. Alright. What? No. Stop doing that, Link. What, what does this block here entitle me to if I were to push it across there? Or pull it across there? You get the idea. Maybe I should have positioned this over there ahead of time. Oh yeah, there's that little ledge there. Unless that's gonna be blocked by fire later. Go, 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 go! Eh! Eh! You can d Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I can just do this. I thought the fire was gonna block that or something. So that's... That's, that's like a non-issue whatsoever. <laughs> 
Why? What the heck is wrong with Link and why does he keep doing that? Climb onto this edge. There we go. Tap the switch. And now push the block. Is that so hard, Link? No, it is not. So why you make it so hard? <laughs> There's a lot of these fire bubbles around this area. Uh, me and my greediness for the treasures within the blocks. <laughs> no. You know what? I'm just going to get these both in a good position by pushing them through the fire ahead of time. And yeah. Don't touch me. Please, no contact. I, I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. <laughs> they are doing a very good job of avoiding me completely. Ah, there. That's what I thought. I knew once I push it past a certain point, I would be at the point of no return per se. Okay. Now I should be able to climb... I'm not able to climb through there, am I? Oh, wait, wait. There we go. I was wrong. Now... Can I pull the block from this side? Because that, that would be kind of a sequence break, maybe? Aha! Cheating! <laughs> That's the recommended method, I think, over uh, trying to push it while that switch is uh, active and turning off the fire, basically. I'm going to move... Well, maybe I don't have to move them all the way across to the point that they turn off. Um... Well, let's just do it anyway, because this won't take that long. Oh my god, this room is taking like seven minutes now, and oh. Oh, I know, it's bad. It's horrendous. Maybe this is one of those times that I should be speeding things up or something like that. Did that just make a glass block appear up on the other floor? Very interesting. Yeah, it just made those things appear. But what... But what's the point of... Oh, this is just another wall master. All I have to do is just bait him into coming out. And then kill him. Just as long as he doesn't land right on top of you. They do give a lot of treasures, though. I have to give them that. Alright, so... Yeah, I know that door is barred once again, but I want to see... Link! No! Stop infinite looping! What is wrong with him and those blocks? Is... Uh, oh, that's for an adult Link. Okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> so when I come back through here again, we will know the solution. But does that open... No, that doesn't open the thing. Uh, ow. <laughs> and that opens the door. Once again. Okay, I, I didn't have to do that, like, at all. But... I suppose I'll keep that in for the future. <laughs> I'm just gonna avoid you guys altogether because clearly you're, there's nothing else in there. What? What? Or at least there didn't seem to be. Because this is a locked door. Oh. <laughs> this place is ridiculously puzzling. And you are very large. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Oh. Oh. Anything to light? Like, wait, actually, there isn't anything on the map. <laughs> oh, man, I missed something in one of the other rooms? Oh, no. No. <laughs> I have to go through this preposterous room again. No, it actually stayed open? Okay. Well, never mind what I said there, I suppose. Um, am I actually supposed to come back through here as an adult first? Because I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get the silver gauntlets and then come through here again. Alright, so what treasure chests in what rooms am I missing? Ow. <laughs> there's this one over here, because there's that treasure chest on the upper ledge. But I believe that's on the other side. I believe that's on the adult side of the room. Although, there's a floor master over there. I wouldn't put it past Master Quest to make it so I could go over there as a kid. Well, 
Is this door? No, it doesn't stay open. Ah, oh, I'd have to do the crate puzzle. I mean, I have to do the crate puzzle all over again. But I have to come back through here anyway, so I suppose it doesn't really matter all that much. Where's that pot going? <laughs> I think I glitched out the pot somehow. Alright. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. I must find the solution to each and every one of them. You know, it's kind of funny. I see I'm standing right underneath the chest, or at least that's what it looks like. Oops, I, I don't need to... Yeah, I already got the Lens of Truth out, so where- so the second treasure chest is probably on top of that hand over there. Am I able to climb onto- yes I am. Oh, poopers. Come on, just pop yourself out of here and just get yourself out of the way. I got my sword out. <laughs> Been through this three times before. Eh. 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 There we go. What's your treasures? See how much stuff they drop? It's delightful. <laughs> I don't know if the climbing on top of here will be able to let me do anything, but it's worth a shot. Although, it would allow me to get over to the torches a little bit faster. Hmm. But I don't have enough, um... Don't have enough magic power at the moment to do so. I used a lot uh, on those Gibdos. That might may have been the trick. Because <laughs> for all I know, it might just be possible to light all those torches. Yeah, I noticed this switch back in this room. I don't... Oh, that's how you open that grate. Or gate, excuse me. I, I'm coming to the Great Fairies Fountain here as... Uh, Child Link, and it's funny, I opened this place up as an adult, but didn't touch this place as a kid, but yet it's still open. <laughs> hey, wait, there's a treasure chest in this little room? Is it in... what? Um... Maybe I overlooked this room a little bit too quickly. Could be wrong, though. I've been wrong before, and I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I think there's probably like a switch on the other side of that thing. And yeah. Alright, let's try this puzzle again at super speed this time. I'm going to try and optimize all my moves here. Uh, just to get as much chance as I possibly can to light these torches, though I don't know what the heck I'm aiming for here. I should say what I'm hoping to accomplish by doing so. Okay, I'm on to here now. This looks like a pretty good run. And quickly run over to this. Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on! That was about it. That was really about as fast as I could do it, honestly. Huh. Hey! In this room where that glass block was. There's a gold skull to log, but I... Ah, that's why I need to come back here as an adult. I hookshot onto the other block that I make in the middle of the room, and then I... Uh, well, okay, not hookshot, long shot, And then long shot the skull to log to kill it and grab its token. I see. Hey, watch us. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, does it? And I'm standing inside the treasure chest. Well, actually, I'm standing floating on the inside of the treasure chest. Don't question the game logic, people, or the universe will implode. Yeah, I seriously can't do that any faster than I just did it right there. I mean, that was... Well, maybe I could. I don't know. It just seems like it's... 
it's way too precise to be the actual intended solution for this puzzle. Um, you know what I think? I think what I'm actually supposed to do here is now progress through the temple as an adult. You know, use that hookshot target and find a key for that room in, uh, as, as a child, so... That's exactly what I'm gonna try doing for the heck of it. Alright, here we are. Let's see if I can make a difference now that I'm an adult. See if there's something up here that will lead me to the solution as a child. See, in Master Quest... Oh, this is just this room. Yeah, I, st I still can't get through here without the silver gauntlets. Because it's like, eh, I can't push this ginormous block. Yeah, that's, that's the puzzle here. Oh, so everything is done as a kid, unless... I'm able to, like, pull myself through something, like, through here or something like that. I don't see any treasure chest, there's just that suspicious boulder over there. Yeah... I didn't think so. I am... totally befuddled at this point as to what I'm supposed to do. So what I think I'm actually gonna do here is end off the part and figure it out later. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.